carry it through. Um, we've got some other business to go through first. When we get to the end of that, we can just try and stand in order and bring that forward so we go ahead with that. That's okay. So over to you. Um, and there's no explanation why. Um, 
the stability of the slopes are normally good for thirty years, um, and no investigation works been carried out. Um, and I've questioned why this has not now been referred back to highway structures because we've moved things towards the street ranking. Um, we previously objected to highways because the site access was on a blind bend. The access has been moved, um, but the new proposal now is for three off-road parking spaces. Um, and whilst it has been accepted by highways, the highways officer does say to me in report that the previously approved outline access arrangements in, of the 2019 outline planning were better and safer. And in relation to the um, parking spaces, visibility displays are only confirmed as being considered within standard from the central parking spot, which suggests that the other parking bays uh, when in use will obstruct uh, visibility. Um, the access um, that was provided in the 2019 outline planning can be, can be achieved even with this new property design by simply moving it towards the original footprint of the 2019 outline planning. Um, the new off-road parking requirements might be acceptable but clearly not considered by highways to be the best or safest for site. Um, the planning officer cannot act, ask for the uh, applicant as I understand it to amend them to achieve that preferred scheme. Um, the next one is that you said it didn't harmonise with the local built environment, there's been no change there. And lastly, you raised concerns uh, after our objections about um, the potential for lo loss of life and overlook in the, our property below. Um, we have spent a considerable amount of money employing specialist surveyors in this um, aspect. And they concluded that it would be unreasonable to grant planning permission without conducting a DRE daylight and sunlight report. And um, this hasn't been provided. Um, and I've asked repeatedly for a response from the planning officer. Um, so this the area at the side of, of our house is our own is our own amenity space. Um, can't see that there's anything that's significantly changed um, in relation to your objections on that. Just please ask you to be brief and move on. Thank you. Okay, are you okay if I stand? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I speak that. So uh, all I want to say is that I, I usually leave this talking to Sharon because she's very good at saying what she says and she, she knows lots of things. And I don't normally get involved. Now what I would like to say is that in the, I, we were presented with a light survey by the architect 117 design. And basically this survey shows that my garden at five o'clock in the middle of June is in complete shape. It's not a survey, they're a shadow. Or a sh it's a shadow, it, you can't put the parameters yeah, yeah, yeah. into a computer and it yeah. generates this. And so on the 30th or the 20th of June I decided to take a photograph of myself in my garden in bright sunlight at five o'clock. Now, according to 117 design, that something's wrong. So it's either them are wrong or I'm wrong. Now, my issue is that if this house is built and suddenly at five o'clock in two years' time I go to my garden and I'm in uh, the shed, what's going to happen? Are they suddenly going to come around and say, oh, sorry, you were right, or, you know, we'll, we'll take the house down? No, no, it's not going to happen. So we've asked the planning officer that she should make them conduct a proper life survey and for the detriment of what's going to happen to our, to our property. And we're kind of, I feel like we're just being ignored. And we're kind of writing emails and we don't get a reply and we write it again and we don't get a reply. So I'm kind of not happy that I don't feel like she's doing the job properly. Uh, that's my view on it. With regard to the new layout for the highways, which Sharon's already touched on, the, dist the, the height between the road, existing road, and the level where all this parking is going to be is huge. We're talking, my personal view is it's, I'm an engineer and I think it's going to be five to six metres of some kind of retaining to get you up to road height. So my big question is what's that going to look like from my side of the house? You know, I know we have big steel pillars in a beautiful green area. Uh, it's been going on for four years now and I don't think this should be passed. I really just think it should be kicked out but I feel like they're grinding 
that the plane is down. And that's the way the way. That's me. Okay. Yeah, well, the only thing I've got, I, I owned the house where the, I sold the plot of land and got the outline planning permission four years ago. Originally, I was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's still talking. I'm <laughs> not right there. The planning officer in 2019, I think, did an excellent job. He considered everybody's viewpoints, from the point of view of the neighbours, the highway safety, the developer, and the nearest property. <coughs> and I really do think he made a correct assessment of the land. Yeah. It's all, all, all the way around. So you sold it and then you got no, it? No, I, I, I wanted to get planning permission for whatever I could get to enhance the value of the property. Now, I was told by the architect, oh, I'll get you five houses on here, and it was like, well, it, then it was four, and then it was three. But originally, there were two... Not even one now, is it? No, yeah. Originally, there were two houses going where the new development was going to be. Right. But those two houses were turned down, and I was given planning permission for one plot further back. But now it's new planning. Is on the space where the two houses were that I was turned down for in 2019. So, is, is, am I going to get compensated for the money that I've lost because I couldn't get the I couldn't get the money for the other two houses? I sold the house but with planning for me, outline planning for one property. If I'd have been able to sell it for outline planning for three properties, it would have been worth a lot more money. But there's also the concern that, um, I don't know whether you're aware, but the, the, the people that bought the house obviously bought the land valued on the basis of, of planning, which, as he explained, would have been considerably higher if they'd have got additional planning. Now, the footprint uh, where Kirkley is indicated in 2019 is suitable for building is the flattish area of land. Um, and the steep banking wasn't considered suitable for various different reasons. Um, that area of land is being retained by number 39. <laughs> and I s firmly suspect that they are, uh, the, they are not the applicants. They are selling the area of land, attempting to sell the area of land that was unsu deemed unsuitable. Um, and this this is the current applicant the, the current applicant of the potential purchasers. So so, so for sale, yeah. yeah. So they haven't actually bought it. And we had initial discussions with the applicants after the first because the first application was withdrawn. And we had discussions to try and come to some agreement where we didn't need to object. So we could go back to something like the 2019. And in my view, the applicants seemed amenable to doing something like that. But then we went back to the vendors and the vendors refused. Now I am firmly of the opinion that they've got this footprint and this footprint will then become infill and there will be a tendency to well, develop on that land or whatever the wording of it is. Uh, and um, we'll end up with two properties in an area which council can put up. I, I, I understand that. Yeah. 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 We can only consider what we Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And anybody who buys land that's been refused planning is stupid because it's never going to get past council to refuse. So mm -hmm. we should address it with that, aren't we? Yeah. I, 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 I can see what, like, I can see what they're saying, and I, I think the valid arguments. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll come to that in a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but for the rest of us, it's no point to worry about. So if you just bear with us. Yeah, we're fine. We'll with you. Okay. Thank you very much. So, item 135, um, we're now recording the meeting, I think we all know, uh, does anyone wish to have any else on the floor this morning? No? Okay. Item 136, apologies for absence. Um, yeah, I've circulated uh, apologies and reasons for apologies uh, over this evening from uh, Councillor Robson, Councillor Quine, uh, Councillor Fenwick, and we have an additional dispensation for Councillor Bernardic. Okay. Uh, okay, we're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a bit jealous of Councillor Quine. Yeah. Sure, I'm all doing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
seven for the team members and what is his personal and disclosure for being the best player in the game? Does anyone have any clue? I've got a number three on the planning list. It's a personal interest um, and then the, the applicant is very good. Eight. Consider written request for the for a new DPI dispensation. Is it written? Name the name the new dispensation request. It is. Okay, thank you. Item one three nine. Consider whether items on the agenda should be discussed in private session. Uh, I would like to suggest yeah. that Carl Corris discussed in private yeah. session. I'm sorry. For <laughs> health and safety reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just have a show of hands on this? Are we all in favour of oh, which one? Item one forty to confirm the minutes of the previous meeting. I can all have a look at these or we all can do this one. Okay, thank you. Item 141, complete the Turkey's planning application list. So this is to note the list. Chair, okay, can I just raise one query? Um, and that relates to... I if I can find it. There was... Um, there we go. There was an application which we discussed which concerned um, building some solar panels on oh, my road. Oh. Down the lane. Sorry? Down the lane? Yes, that's what right. did you um, Sorry, I thought I. I but but it, it was rejected by yes. the planning committee, which I noted with some pleasure. My, my, my question was. <laughs> whether the residents who attended the meeting would have been informed about that but if not could we let them know um yes they can um, I, I mean they may know anyway yes, because they're interested um, i would say on I, this they always say their contact details on file i would say um, on this one if you remember what they were effectively saying was we believe we have the right to put these panels on without permission because yes. it's an operational need. Yes, absolutely. So all we've been turned down is no, you don't have that right without planning permission. Okay. So, so we may now find that they come back with planning permission. So it may not be the end of it. No, no, indeed. Yeah. The residents might get some some yeah, sure. so Absolutely. It would be helpful to let you know. I don't know whether the planning authorities will automatically get them now. I suspect they won't. No, I don't think they will. Well, they wouldn't know necessarily. They wouldn't know who's being here. No, they wouldn't know who's being here. We don't name them. We don't. I know one of them, they're um, the one from me, so I could, I could possibly just Okay, that, yeah, I just want to We did have some emails. We're slightly out of turn here because we haven't got the decisions yet. Um, <laughs> <but> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got that on. Yes, we are on. This, this was a completed planning application for us. Yeah, oh, sorry, I think I've well, well, begun. I'm, I'm going to have to slide over this. <laughs> <laughs> So enthusiastic. <laughs> this is it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the cold is freezing. Anyway, we've noted the list. Yes, yes. Item 142, okay, please cancel new planning applications. To consider new or amended applications of two for Turkey Council. This is the one that we are currently going to deal with. Yes. So at this point, if, if we could just spend time in orders. We'll bring forward yeah. our end game, have I got that right? Yeah. We'll come to the rest. That was good. So we're on number 13, is it on our list? Number 13. Number 13, final end game. It's the one that's just been listening to that. Um, this would have been Councillor Collins' main point. 
I should point out that Council agreed with the uh, Hilton and Baldwin okay. um, and he's agreed um, possible referral to the planning committee. Well, that's what he needs. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if the planning officer is looking to approve. Okay. So, anyone would like to kick us off on this one? So, um, I know you're worried. You are entitled, entitled to light and mm. daylight. So, mm. you are entitled to ask for that survey. Mm. I, I would suggest you seek a, advice from a higher manager. Okay. Yeah. So, I've gone back to her today because um, she's replied to Council Agrees and I've said uh, before a decision is made, she acknowledged Council Agrees that she's got new. Uh, uh, plans from highways or new consultation from highways um, and she would be starting to review it so I've gone back to her today and told her that I'm still waiting um, for numerous requests um, uh, outstanding issues specifically what that being one of the points um, because the special surveyors did say that they thought it was unreasonable to, to approve it without and they did specify that it should be a BRE uh, they are in some way before, and they also subsequently then sent another letter commenting on the shadow paths that the applicant had provided, uh, confirming that these are not standard and are subject to influence by, and they don't seem to have used certain things to input the information, and they're not what are considered to be reliable. So, I suggest we uh, we maintain our existing objection, and, and I think there were probably a couple of things that we probably want to add to the uh, issues that were, were raised last time. And specifically, the the, um, uh, the daylight that was reported on the report. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's anything else, we I, 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 I must confess I found following this through rather difficult. It was a concern that, that this application differs significantly from the uh, outline planning permission. Mm -hmm. that, that raised several issues. But one of the key ones seems to be to do with the highways issues and parking. And when I read the uh, subsequent reports on highways, there's no prospect of the footpaths being added. So that is out of the question completely. Um, and the issue of the um, entry and exit to the property um, clearly there are line of sight issues. I couldn't tell from the plan. It looks as if they're proposing to build a driveway around the front of the property so that vehicles can enter and exit that way, but that wasn't in the original planning application. So it, it, it seems to me that there are a number of issues, particularly around highways, apart from those that have already been mentioned, plus the fact that um, there's a very clear recommendation to pull ecological impact assessment, if you know, and I haven't done so far, but it's far more concerned. I think there's one thing in there, yeah? The materials are quite good, so I wouldn't go into that. I think, I'm to be fair, that's the one thing, and the planning officer in 2019 does actually, the Indian Aware Cost does actually acknowledge that, that he mm -hmm. sought to um, agree layout, access, and various things, and the one thing that he said that perhaps could be better would be the um, design. Now, to be fair to, uh, I think it was for the purpose of achieving planning, not for some few yeah. people wanting to live in their house. So obviously, I think the single storey at road level is certain most, and, the, and whatever is most suitable. But it, the, lay, the layout that's the big, big issue. Uh, I, I mean, it, it, but it was quite poor that their plan uh, statement so, right. especially when it's been pointed out to me before, it's no better as that word has changed. I, I like the fact that they want to build into a banking and they're going to have to put trillions of gabion baskets up to hold it up, which aren't really mm. like increasing the value of the rest of the house. Well, I, what worries me is that when there's 15 and 16 turn up numbers working above my house, Am I am I going to be safe in my house? I don't think because if it was a railway line running underneath our house, where my house is, there was no building. But I think I, I mean I sort of same view, but really there's nothing much changed. Mm -hmm. No, I think that's pretty much the same. They keep modifying them slightly. Uh, they did an ecological assessment now, didn't they? But it's not satisfactory. Mm -hmm. That's another matter. 
And then it's also light issues. I think we should use the same way that the light issues. Well, there's also concrete to cover another probably 30 square meters of land to produce the driveway, which wasn't on the original you know, ecological. So, so you know, somewhere if there's another 30 square meters of concrete driveway to our mind. I think we should also raise the, the boundary issue because I think that is crucial. You know, if you can't put the right red line on the map, there's <laughs> something fundamentally wrong. You can't, you can't say you're going to keep your neighbour's trees, can you? No. Stephen, I really like your garden. In my planning application, I'm going to say, I'm going to keep my garden in all that fine. <laughs> um, just so that it's fairly consistent about this, Councillor Ross John did give me some comments at the beginning here tonight. Um, and he said basically there's some inconsistency here. Lots of natives, traffic, parking, walking in our streets are all blocked by um, queues of foot passengers. I'm trying to say no. <laughs> <laughs> Um, are we moving to uh, yeah. the close then? Um, yeah. Right, we need a five uh, response. Yeah. Uh, so, I gave you that printout that the lady gave us. Yes. Yeah, I can, I can, I can use that. Uh, no, I don't have a copy of the email. Oh, you got one. So, where, where we're at is um, maintain an <laughs> original. Objection plus the following and um, issues around daylight and a night survey to actually be carried out. And mm. um, significant differences in broadband and highways mm. compared to visibility and loss of footpaths. Um, do you like me to? <laughs> uh, lack, of, um, lack of lack of sufficient ecological survey, uh, concern for stability of bank, uh, very difficult to explain to some of the previous application, additional driveways, further diagonal dirt tunnels, and downs and rock collapse on plants. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Are we all agreed? Are we yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, the one thing I would like is that you mentioned about the outline permission that was given in 2019, mm -hmm. and how they've bought the land since, and then they're basically just ignoring that and trying it on. Yeah. That's what they're doing. Yeah, um, and, and the thing is, like, they might have been given the outline before, but it's five years ago. Mm -hmm. But uh, there doesn't want to be any, there's still a lot of planning reasons not to get off the, the approval mm -hmm. for this. And so they're all still valid reasons. Mm -hmm. So this should still stand. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's clear, what, we all know what they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. But I really hope they're successful and that yeah. they don't get what they want because there's so many bad things about this application and reasons to refuse it. Yeah. And you know, you know the next steps. Yeah. I mean, it, in some respects, I have some sympathy for the applicant because I think they would need a cross, and so I think they've been prevented to do so because I do think they are only given a chance around the cross. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You know the next steps. The plan is the plan is the plan, and I've obviously referred the issue with the light to somebody who's got more to do than you've got. If it does go through. Yeah. Thank you then. Yeah. The opportunity again to speak. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, keep in touch with Charles Reeves about it. Yeah. He should want to help you out with it all. Yeah. Hello. Well, I think Bill Parker probably would have been here this evening, um, but he's still away because it was Bill Parker that advised us that it was back on commit on your agenda this evening. Okay, that's your doctor, Bill Parker. Yeah, the, the ex GP. Retired GP. From, retired GP from um, oh. the Honey Service. Okay. Okay. You can turn if you want. We might, we'll just leave the You'll get on break without us. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so we're back on track, aren't we now? With uh, number one. 
what you want to see to our right is a background that uh, might tell the narrative. Um, here the narrative is not there, but I'll uh, put it across then. Um, materials all match. Uh, there are three objectives on this one. So where the model is going to come about here. We'll add free and advice to the question. That's um, how to put out advice. So I quite like the detail of that now. I thought it was a bit of a disproportionate addition to what was really quite a small dungeon world. And clearly I, I believe this will not be looking at yours. Um, is, it over, is it over the 33 per press? I, I don't know, to be quite honest. Mm. It's a big balcony. Um, what Martin said is, we require the future room regarding the balcony that will do reflect the neighbour's satisfaction before. Why change it there? So he's sort of saying, saying this is the end of the balcony, but I think the whole point of this is to get the balcony. So <laughs> 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 uh, I, I'm, I'm inclined to oppose it. It's on uh, overlooked this. And I think a disproportionate to the, to the existing room. Mm -hmm. Number two. 13 for the middle way. Yeah, it's, it's fairly straightforward, Chair. No neighbor objection, nothing acceptable about it. I'm happy to support it. Um, oh, yes. My only query on it was are the building right up to their boundary, but that's a bit unclear. Um, it, it, it is quite an issue. There's a number of these applications and they all have these dimensions on, so I'm not sure whether it's where you've actually gone yet. I think it's in the, in the garden line. I've got, I've got this one on the objection as well. It's yeah. like there's no overlooking. And, and, and didn't yeah. the neighbours have any big concerns? Yeah. One has to assume that that's got a flat roof. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, my Lord. There's more of those to come. <laughs> Across all the panels. Um, yeah, okay. Are we uh, supporting yeah. this one? Yep. Number three. Uh, empty driving schools and block holes. Number three is the one I have there, but it's in fact the driving schools. Okay. Um, I'm sure the Oh, come on, you're yeah. not offended. Uh, anyone else want to pick us off on this? No, I haven't looked at it. No, I had a look. I thought I haven't moved that far down. I can't remember. Yeah, you go to the other one with no dimensions on. Um, the, the, um, I, I thought the, the, the first floor side extension was fine, but I just think the, the view of the balcony would be completely out of place on. Um, so it's just going to fit with the whole, um, the whole view. No objection to the rest of it. Huh. I've looked at the materials and that's when I thought it looked fairly remarkable. Um, take the point about the balcony yeah, might have been a bit out of the case. She's skipping them everywhere, it seems to be absolutely well, thing. I've no idea. Well, you're saying, you're walking your dog into your house. Do you know what I mean? Like, so you're losing space in your house. Just don't get it at home. You can't put all these windows in there or under the window. You don't have a windowsill. It's just not for me. Do we feel strongly enough about it to uh, oppose it? Or? No, no, no. no. It's, it's just like my flat roof. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, pointless, bro. Don't put them on. Unremarkable support. Yeah. Number four, home away in the mill, was attached to the end. This one is, this one I thought they all ought to have a look at, so it's potentially a bit of a thing. We've had a look at this one as well, and I thought that uh, this one wasn't very easy to look at as well, mm -hmm. the drawings. 
Um, it's, it's in a fairly quiet position, quiet road, just plenty of space up there for it. So if you're having to build like a house and living there garden, this is probably my kind of place where you do something like this. I don't, I don't really have too many objections about it, but at the same time I'm also not crazy about it either. You seem to me to be well beyond certainly my expertise because there are more concerns about subsidies than there are in the And I would have thought that until those issues have been satisfactorily addressed, you couldn't possibly be talking. I think you've got to be a strong position, don't you? Mm. And, and I, I think we're going to turn the lines up at the same that we have to get the mind in the first thing first because. So the support so might be additional upon addressing the, the geological concerns. It's probably, it's probably one of the things that they say about any built building in that area. <laughs> So there could be, could be, could be mines around, but it's probably be all right. I, 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 I have a feeling in the report that the, the sure. ground to say from that that we need to be more. Excuse me, I was saying. I found it was a, a thin application. I thought it was only from something. I mean, yeah. the plans were originally from 2004. That's changed. We were 2004, moved to 2014, moved them up, moved them up to now. I, I, I couldn't find a design and access statement for it's been rebuilt. Um, I'm giving the bit, again the bits to new builder expect more from the climate statement yeah. than the well, climate yes, I mean, statement. Climate, yeah. the yeah. climate statement seems to be we're putting on a, an efficient yeah. gas boiler. Yeah, exactly. And that's it. Yeah, and that's well, was it given permission before? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's quite it's, a, it's quite, quite it's a bit. Bit. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, Just, that's the previous yeah. decision, though. But well, like we mentioned there, like I said earlier, like a lot of times passed. You said 2004, so things have changed. So we need a better climate. Oh, that's right. Is that the one they're given? It's 2020, I think. Like. Is that gross? Is that gross refusal? It's a very ground-looking building, isn't it? Isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think if they're going to the expense of that style of building, wouldn't you think that they'd be considering some climate change? Well, I expected to see solar panels or ground source heating yeah, or, or air yeah, source heating. Yes. You know, yes. as I say, the only thing they mention is an efficient gas boiler and we're putting a recharging point for power. Yeah. Yeah. And you can think, well, that's not even getting to the first phase. And, um, and being storage either, which is supposed to provide that. Oh, no, this would be storage. Oh, this would have been yeah. storage. Yeah. Oh, this been storage. Yeah. Oh, I saw the book support that two bits would have better climate change. I'd like to see a tree survey done as well because there's an imposing tree at the frontage, which I'm not quite sure what it's going to be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. 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 Y
Too many, yeah. <laughs> Number six. <clears throat> Wood rain on Firth. Um, and and I think this one. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll start. Um, I, I didn't, I didn't like this, so I'll just go straight through this. Oh, there's a massive, especially with students, uh, in a situation where you think, you know, one minute you just knock down the, the bungalow and you're doing something else because the, the um, yeah, there's an extension up, up with Mr. Dunathlon and then there's an extension up on the top of the bungalow to make it a two-storey house. I just think the whole thing is, is um, disproportionate in terms of these two meaning and um, the, the, the design is not really, um, it's, it's just a little less Buildings around there, and there's lots of this boundary wall. Um, so I'm, I keep telling I'm not very happy with this one. <laughs> did you have a kit? I did indeed. I mean, it's ridiculous the Queen has extensions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Quite it. laughs> there's, there's an objection, isn't there, that talks about the size and scale of the development, yeah. design out of keeping, access and parking issues. I, I'd echo. I thought the CCS again was very poor. They described it as a small stable. <laughs> it's it's another house, it. isn't it? <laughs> yes, <sorry. laughs> so you've got to think, why don't you just knock it down? Well, that's, that's, exactly. that's what a lot of people do now, aren't yeah, they? Exactly. You know, so when you've yeah. gone to the trouble of all they want you to do, just start again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Size and scale of development. Size and scale of development, yeah. It's keeping. essentially certainly not an extension, but it's certainly not subservient to existing building. It's not an extension. And the other two are CCS. Yeah. And then we should. Um, raise the concerns so that they buy Cambridge and their highway structures, which is about to retain the wall. That's the key one, though, isn't it? Careful, retaining the wall. Number seven. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next row. Title there, innit? <laughs> you want to kick off now or do you want me to? I would recommend opposing this one. Um, yeah, it's. I mean, the main reason I suppose is highway, but I don't. There's some, I don't know, just studying it, it just didn't feel right, and that's a difficult thing to put into words. But I'm not happy about the increase in parking for a start. Um, and why does a one bedroom house, which I presume is going to be a holiday let, or a, an Airbnb or something like that, 
I think we're starting for people for that number 59 is going to be an issue. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it just feels wrong mm -hmm. uh, when you look at the standard and look at the different languages and see what's proposed. The whole thing just feels wrong. It's, well, it's a difficult thing to put into words, really. But well, this came out as originally. I mean, yeah. Yeah. And so the, 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 it's been put into one, and now they're into yeah. it what it was like before. Yeah. Which, when you, you describe it like that, you kind of think, oh, well, what's wrong with that? But when you think about it, there's a lot more cars around now, yeah. so it makes it all more difficult there. I mean, Cliff Road. That's what it's chock a box as it is. Yeah. I mean, Cliff Road really is just a one way. One, it should, in its essence, could be one way because there's so much, so many narrowing places. Um, and to get them at more cars, and I know uh, the resident of the old school who was opposing the John Browns of the railway side of it. Um, it you want something? I'm going to disagree with Steve. Right? Go on, yeah. With you, if you like. Um, it, yeah, I, I, I thought this was a good move. I mean, I, and I think it's too far broken. That's what I picked up anyway. Uh, it, it was originally two lanes. I mean, I have even the important thing is the front of the side facing yeah. Cliff Road, and that's not really changed yeah. that. And opening up what was, was obviously a, a, a obviously a door at one point. Um, the back's the back's met already met really. You know, the, 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 the extensions have been demolished at the back at some point. So, and, and, and the extension at the back of the house, which is the one next, to, the, the one further in, you know, seems to be just filling, just, filling in a space, yeah, which, is, which is now just yeah. kind of a large recess. Yeah, I guess there is a, an issue about the parking, but, it, but um, it's, I mean, getting, getting vehicles, I see them, <laughs> I see the scratches on the cars, getting, getting the vehicle in and out there, but I suppose if it's four, be four bedrooms, I mean, it's a shame that it's four bedrooms. Um, and they're going to extend the size of the parking from adjacent to the cliff road as well. Are these both four bedrooms? That's what I, I, I thought. No, one of them's four bedrooms. I read the first, the, the, the sort of the new one, if you like, as I think it, I read it as a two bedroom. One's one's a four, and the other one is two. Well, I read it as two. Yeah, four bedrooms. Yeah. Yeah. The other the, they're three stories. One's a one's a three, one's a four. One's a three, one's a four. Oh, one's a three. Yeah. 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 A two and a three. I think that I think <clears> they have to put those. I, I think the additional. We need we need houses, don't we? And that it's getting this. Yeah. At the moment, it's not in that relevant really. It's it's a bit neglected. It's been a rental for years. Yeah. Not, it's, it's not it's, it's it's not in good state. It's not in good state. Can I move to propose it? Because looking at the plans, housing is a premium in in Perth. Perth. I think personally, I have like a lot of children. Like the woman who lives in a shoe. And I don't know how my kids would ever, ever be able to afford anything in their own valley. You wouldn't want them to move out, would you, sir? So you've got right. Like, I don't think you'd afford a list of being there on Cliff Road. No. <laughs> 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 you're not going to be cheap, are you? No. So, it's nice. so I think, and, and the elevation, they look nice. It's, mm. They've done it mm. sympathetically. Mm. I get the parking argument, but if you live on the cliff, like you can walk, not everybody's into that, you know, a lot of people from one car families, you know what I mean, people do, no they do though, lots of people have changed to one car families, especially all this stuff kicking off at Middle East, I imagine they've had this in the world before next Christmas, but, you know, I think it's, I think we should approve it. Chair, I, I think we should note that one of the neighbours' objections um, does raise serious concerns about parking and right. possible implications for him because he's lived in that area so he can't he can't do it um, and i think those, those, there are some very serious concerns i, th I think on behalf of that neighbor too and, and martin you made exactly the same point it was the line the neighbor's concerned about parking i, I wasn't particularly enamored with the ccs again the proposal was actually bollocks yeah, I think that's, that's what you can do. That's the green thing, though. Yeah, electric's not green, but having a green boiler is electric boiler is. Yeah, I mean, it's so expensive. I don't regret that. It's so expensive. I've got this great big fan in my back garden. My electric bill's still fancy. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have thought electric boiler is just because it's green. No, well, they, it's supposed to come from green renew renewable energy. Yeah. You know, like yeah. if you go. Yeah. Asset is still in my head. It's an octopus, so if you're an octopus customer in the old valley. You get your energy? No, but if it was air source heating, I would say, yeah, fine, because you're getting a three-to-one benefit, don't you? Because you're getting air source, but not purely electric. Very well, that, that's based on the fact that most of the power that you get from solar panels is from wind. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the way I look at this, and I thought, actually, it's more of a portrait of somebody. Mm. It, it seems very inaccurate. Mm -hmm. And the recent climate change thing is the one that I was trying to say. Well, it's yeah. tiny, though, isn't it? Electric heat, rather. It's all fucking like the Wiggly Tin, wasn't it? Are we okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, we have oh, an air. Oh, no. uh, this is the uh, was it 36, 37? Yeah. 35 dwellings. Only 35. Oh, no. oh, well, then, do it first. A variation of conditions. Different things in about materials, isn't it? Mm. Well, what do you artificial stone? No, absolutely not. An artificial blue slate. This is another one where they've had pre app advice. Oh. I don't know what that is. Stone Valley, uh, they were quite, they're quite strongly against artificial absolutely. stone. It's disgusting. Does anybody want to live in an artificial well, stone? Well, I think if you look at the history of this application as well, there's a lot of opposition to it. Um, I think they've got it on the field, haven't they? Yes. The thing is, though, you can't ask everybody else in the valley to sort nice stone, mm. nice slates. What about this render model? Right, it's awful. Uh, my feelings are, I, I see no reason for that sort of uh, uh, tactic to approve a stone in the variation, I think. So it refuses. Stone and blue slate. Mm -hmm. It's very vicious. Okay. I mean, I think one of the neighbours said it, it, it suggests that the builders can no longer afford to do what they said they were going to do, and then it's going to come back with reconstitution. <laughs> I think artificial, it's artificial stone, artificial slate. The tiny time, time after they yeah. started it. I think, yeah. the, I think the object. And now they say they can't afford to carry on, yeah. so they need to make these changes. They need to really sell it to someone who knows what they're doing now. Object. Okay. Um, True, that in it. Object because it's in a conservation area. Yes, it is conservation area. And it's in, not in keeping with the rest of the environment. We should keep it's it. It's insulting. One of the conditions is the commission wanted to do with the plans and specifications. So is that something yeah. different to materials? So, well, we're, we're refusing it to say that the materials should remain as they are on the original permission. Yeah. Yeah. I think the changes to the plants and the specs are pretty minimal. It's to allow for solar panels and that's their excuse. Yeah. <laughs> so they think that so they think that artificial stones could have all the solar panels no, no. better than Indian slate. Well, and it just it they, they they've altered some roof shape because they didn't they didn't face oh. south or south. Yeah, it just happens to make them a bit bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, Martin's said that she's saying proper thing. Mm -hmm. Is this cost cut, cost cutting dress up in the UK this year? Yeah. 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 We don't know why solar panels are different, different on concrete to stone. <laughs> Must be taking you back a bit. 13 is done, then. Yeah. 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 14. Oh, more place. Yeah, I, I looked at this chair and it, it uh, um, <coughs> went to the wall to hand it. Um, but it, it seems to be a very sympathetic um, extension of the very fine drawings. It, uh, it has been the same concern of the neighbours. Um, and I thought we should support it. I don't know about the listed building issue, but um, well, it's in listed and it's in green dogs as well. But um, same as you, I thought mm -hmm. it's fine subject to listed and green dogs. So. I wasn't, I don't mean that, but I wasn't too happy about some of the windows. I mean, they thought I was, they, the existing, I think it's been beautifully done, that, that you know, the stars and that, that, that particular artwork. And I think some, some of the windows, was that big picture window in the, in, because it is in the, it is in the back of the store. Mm -hmm. And then there's the patio, um, the pat patio, I, I just think they don't, 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 don't look great, do they? I think it, it really brings on some traffic to the I don't think. Um, number 16, Nathan Green Brockles. Yeah, it's installation of concrete pond. Um, I have had a look at this one. I think it's alright. It's, 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 it's going to improve their business and it's, it's just 
what they do. It's a bit of what kind of fire moment, isn't it? There was, there was one guy in the Jazz and Scott where he made the same thing. He could have relocated as far away from the world as possible. Yeah. They've actually put it in the nearest corner, haven't they? Which one? They put it in the corner on the left hand side of the car park, you know? Yeah. Uh, you know that storage area? On the right hand side when you go into the yard? Yeah. It's on that first corner. Well, right? rather than the where you could have moved it to the back near the railway. Yeah, it would make more sense to be at the back of it, but it would be less visual impact, but there's no buildings of big visual impact in the site, as in any way, so... <coughs> yeah, I, I, I understand what you mean. I was not exactly. supposed to put it, but it would be nice just to say, could it, could it be put as far away? It might be yeah. for drainage reasons, though, that it's, yeah. you know, yeah. like, or water supply. Would it be noisy as well, though, where it is, when it has a sound impact? If that's so, and again, it would be better if it was at the but back. Like, it's, well, we can, we can suggest that, but I think we should approve, but then suggest that it, it would be better positioned further away from um, the highway and the houses. Yeah. It would be quite handy, that, though, because it'll give a bit more competition for concrete strikes mm -hmm. in the area, won't it? Yeah. That's quite good. Then you're not travelling all the way from other states. And reduced, yeah. From quarry. You know, because it all comes from the Reduced travel as well. Mm -hmm. well I think so. We should, we should be supporting it, shouldn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. Um, 17, St. Mary's Avenue Medical. Strange one, this, isn't it? Yeah. I, I see actually yeah. no reason for it not to be supporting it. It's a strange one, from highway to a private car. Fucking feel it catches everywhere. Yeah, yeah I can't tell you. Why wasn't this done earlier? It's my, my thought. I don't know whether there'd be any sort of legal issue, there'd be one there, wouldn't there? Yeah. Converting yeah. from a highway to private property. Well, I suppose it might. Because it's adopted at the moment. I mean, whether he then takes on six square feet of camps and land. <laughs> 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 it's but, just a shoe, is it? It's just a shoe. I mean, it's just weird. And it's very small. Yeah. How on yeah. earth was that ever a turning area? I just like. Well, you're what's talking, what's you're talking left, turning what's area left, what's in the 1970s, before people left. got SUVs. <laughs> the thing <laughs> is, though, she might struggle to not, if she wants to sell her house, that's might be like a bone yeah. of contention, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, plan. it's just weird. Yeah. It's just weird. Yeah. 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 Ye
Someone about it, I know the house. Okay, it off, yeah. and the person, the first commenter said to me, Oh, that one was a really nice conservatory. <laughs> that's the one where they're putting it down. Yes. <laughs> Having said that, I couldn't really see anything wrong apart from the flat roof. <laughs> My only other query was um, again, parking. They have, they have a side drive. Yeah, the side drive has some nice gates. Yes. But it gets two cars on the side of each other and they're putting a porch on. I think the porch is only a large set it will need three meters. Yeah. I don't want to get two cars on the side of each other in three meters. I guess that's a problem. Two C ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and I just query again the parking. I'm not convinced there's room for two cars there when they put the, the porch on the back. Oh yeah. In the small porch. I wonder if they'll encroach around the garden, maybe. It looks, I don't know, you can, I can't see from any of the plans. Yeah, like no. if you look, because it's quite a big plot, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You know, when, you, really when, you, when you look at it, it's mm -hmm. like, like a bit. You love the window. Different, you know what I mean? It's bright. Mm. Yeah. I have no problem other than, again, I'd just like to clear it up. I think there's only one. Are we on one about parking this year? Just have flat roof parking, artificial stove, electric boilers. Are we okay with that? Yeah. 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 That's about subject to subject. I'd just like to clean it. So, where have we got to? One four three Draper's Council Planning Officers decisions, which we've already talked about. I think. Okay. Are we noting that? Yeah. 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 One four four Neighbourhood Planning Review in Thomas County outcomes. Um, okay, this is really about the the sale. I don't want to go into great detail about this. We we. We've already agreed to the first five locations. I've spoken to the officer. The unfortunate thing at the moment is it doesn't appear that this thing's on order. What? Uh, I can't really get any sense out of anyone at the moment. Um, we have approached the uh, Kerr Police Councillors and I think we're in the throes of arranging a bit of a meeting with... Is that Mr. Moses Crook, 
I, I, it appears it isn't, but I wouldn't. Oh, it wasn't two minutes. I don't know. I think you know, in the fullness of time, we might decide to get one done if if it's successful. Can't we just borrow one from down the road where you can't get above <laughs> four, fourteen <laughs> miles an hour and just put it everywhere else? So I think it's it's sort of what's this space. We should we should get some little feedback from Noel fairly soon. Is it? Yeah, uh, Mary's the one who's doing it. I don't know. 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 Well, yes, yeah, so Wednesday, sorry, three minutes. <laughs> okay, apart from this traffic calming, this was the TV cutout, if you remember, Vince. Mm -hmm. um, Councillor Fenwick was talking to um, Stockholm School about the possibility of them going there, and I was speaking to Wuppertown School. Couple of them are looking into Hadley's. I know that the delivery address and the name, so they're actually at a point where we can order those. I think we're still a bit unsure about. Sorry, I, I had a conversation with Councillor Fenwick last week, and he was due to meet with Brock Collins alongside Councillor Downey sort of later that week, um, but I've not heard from him as to whether that meeting's happened, so I've not seen that in log. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear that it's um, in its proximity. I'm going to suggest if we haven't got any update, then I think we'll put the link where we could if we can. Um, I just want to give it to you. Yeah, let's do something. something. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is in our hands. We can actually order these. We don't have to ask anyone. Yeah. No. Do we? Are they movable? These from our? Yeah, they're movable. Okay. So can't we just order them all anyway? And I'm sure there'll be another school in the area that will benefit from them. Well, I think the thoughts were to try and get enough a couple of schools and let them try them and say, in other words, or do people just ignore them? Well, yeah, but you're if, you, if you order for two schools and Brock will do one, and you could send them to another school, mm -hmm. couldn't you? Like Burn Bridge School or New Mill mm -hmm. School or whatever. So mm -hmm. if you just order enough for two schools and then if Brock will still do one, at least we can just then move forward with the new school mm -hmm. faster. Well, I guess we're all like not yeah. ordering, are we? Are we, are we all happy to do that? I mean, we're funded already. Yeah. Okay. We might be giving money back if we don't hurry up. <laughs> uh, to note, following a meeting at Pondley High School, um, about a bit of crossing, students have been invited. So, one of our planning meetings in the near future, that letter's gone out. So we have any feedback I've not had any updates from them just yet. Yeah. So they were actually very good. Yeah, they were good, weren't they? Christmas Eve, they put a you know, really good argument together, and I think it'd be really good to hear what they're doing. What, for a crossing? Yeah. What, like danger to life? Sorry. There's been somebody near. Yeah, there are some it's bad, isn't it? Yeah, well, well, I drive up there and want to go to work. Mm -hmm. um, but some, there were some kids there last week who were actually walking on the in, in the road rather than on the pavement. Because there's, there's about three of them, they're all talking to each other. I'm like, what, what, what are you actually walking on the road for? Maybe the pavers need to be wider. Okay. <laughs> so I don't, I don't think there's any uh, action at the moment. We wait for them to come back to us. Three consultation on the Kirkwood Council statement of community involvement. So we've given a response to this. Um, thanks to Councillor Blacker, who did 99% of the work as usual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, make it obvious though. So thank you very much. As always. <laughs> I mean, basically, what we, was, what we said was we sort of a few more sense, really, which is, you know, we've got, we've got the expertise and local knowledge. Please use us. Mm -hmm. We, we can't not respond, can we? And then, yeah. and then say we want to be involved in the new Kirklees yeah. uh, planning.
Uh, engagement on pre application advice. I might have gone to Treasury's planning. We'll ask about whether it can be included in the FI5. So I don't, don't think we've had any feedback. Yeah, yeah that's that's fine. Fine. One four five Peak District National Park Authority. This is just a case of noting that uh, nothing had happened. No new applications, no new comments, no nothing. Okay. Yep, noted. Mm -hmm. And that's a decision. We like the <coughs> decision maker. Oh, yes, I beg your pardon. The decision maker should have been the FDA decision maker. Yes. So we just noted that. Consider any further action in case that there is any. 146 ongoing highway campaigns. There's no major, blah, blah, blah. Is this list um, just getting longer? Uh, it's not getting shorter, that's for sure. It's the same list. I have um, a <coughs> an agenda, I have an agenda out, I can out and included them in this item, so there is now, now all of the highways um, campaigns are currently in one item instead of. Um, but they are the same as the last five year meeting. I have been trying to get an update on Transom Road, uh, Peter, etc. from the informer. But surprisingly, I haven't replied yet. Sort of off the record almost, I have learned that uh, there's been a freedom of, freedom of information request for it. I'm in that round from the DK Nam group, because it's really unhappy and a bit all right. So, I'm uh, I'll copy in on this. I don't think there's anything secret about it. It's um, Pete and Norman Footpath uh, requested the freedom of information on what we're doing, and there's ring bullet information, which for some reason we don't seem willing to share with anyone else. I don't know. Um, I can, I can <coughs> copy in on it. Because they're obvious, they're opposite right, like either end of the line, like the only block of seats you get back in the line. I don't think there's any updates on any of you. I've got, um, I have an email from uh, Sally Crows <coughs> at Bankhouse Farm about she's getting that. Um, she, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very, very angry email. Yeah, because she's angry. But they're totally, at, she's totally at the end of the tether with this. Mm. And they've been hearing thing after thing after thing, thinking something's going to happen, something's going to happen. And uh, she's emailed everybody, uh, copied it, like all the ward councillors in, copied in the MP, uh, copied in the highways people, like the Kirk Police. The, the highways people have said to them they're going to do things, things haven't happened, or there, there was budget available. I don't know what's going on with it. She's just really, really extremely frustrated about it. And um, I feel a bit useless about it, to be honest. Yeah, no, I, 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 I haven't gone back to it. I haven't replied to her email. I've seen it. I've read it through a couple of times and I'm just thinking, I feel sorry for the poor people on the ground there. And I what? can share this information from Pete and Norman as long as they're happy for me to do so. Mm -hmm. I can't see why they wouldn't be. Can I, can I just say, though, that it's a government grant now for fixing and repairing mm -hmm. public access. So as a landowner, right, I must put an extra year on my footpath and Kirkley Council threatened to take me to court because the gate wasn't hung by a Kirkley professional. Even though my building my has been over 20 years and clearly a little bit more qualified than a gate hammer at Kirkley, right? And um, th these public roads of access are no different to my right of way that I have to spend thousands of pounds draining, cutting, maintaining, and I do do it regularly. I, I fence my livestock in at great expense. Everything to protect the walkers and even put a bench up this year, right? All of that. And they do absolute work, sweet nothing. And if you are a landowner who has a right away across your land, they are on you like a ton of bricks. It's disgusting. It, it, it is very, very frustrating. I really, I really hope that uh, she gets answers from the like, council about it. And it's great in West at Kirkley. She said she's been there twice. Promised that work would be done by May last year with the budget that they had from last year. Um, there's official position. There's, 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 there's talk about closing 12 by 4 by last summer. 
apparently they're still like, going through the first phase of the process of all that kind of things. And again, it's it's too, all the rocks there, it's still there. No, 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 they took them away ages ago, took them away. Is that because we got challenged by the 4x4? Because they've been only put them there for two years, and uh, they got challenged by the 4x4 group, and basically the, the, the time limit had ended, so they had to take them away. The, the, the official position at the moment is that they are going through the process of putting the TRO in place and all these layers, which if they actually do it, will stop access and it should be a problem. Do you believe that it's going to happen? I, I, I'm quite... I've been on with Vans and Go for five years. Now. We have an obligation by law though to maintain these footpaths. Like, we have one at the top of um, a pet list that joins onto and we spent probably about two and a half thousand pounds on drainage so it's suitable to walk on. So people don't sink up to their knees in mud and, and clay as people can cycle into the real good cycle route and at driveway and whatever. We've done that with no money back from the council because it's our obligation as a landowner to make sure that that's right. And they do nothing. Well, in a similar vein, Pink Northern are actually taking Treasury supports later this month on Ramsey Road because they refused to repair it. The thoughts are that at the 11th hour we will we'll, um, expect it to be fully replaced. I've heard blames like that. I've got some of my job heard blaming and um, taking the baler and the tractor on to cut the grass with damaging the tractor and the baler. So I've gone to the council and said to them, I'm bailing like in three weeks. I need you to fix the road. If you don't fix the road, I'm going to start with legal action next because I've got a right away across it and I need to take this grass off. And they fixed it the following day. Mm. <laughs> well, when it comes to... Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so they can do it when they want to do it. Anyway, moving on. Never mind, on. next. Um, I assume we haven't had any feedback from this yet, but... No, well, we had an initial email to say that we'd have a, a response by the end of the week, but then nothing after that. <laughs> what, in September? Uh, it was December, so it was right before Christmas. Uh, item 147, planning policy and guidance. <coughs> this is about the heritage turf. Heritage turf. So the questions we've made the planning team are awaiting a response. Yeah, it's really yeah. There hasn't been a response. We did not want that item to change the upgrade. I think we have a Then she was on about funding. I made it very clear that funding for this is anyway. Um, more than said there was nothing from Treasury either. I said, well, there's no, nothing, from, nothing from the Home Valley either. <laughs> so it was seen as a wonderful. We, we have some budget for the tourism, don't we? Which was in the, the, <laughs> what 
I'm not going to do the committees, but not even planning committees. So. You're trying not to think. Yeah, so there might be some scope for yeah, these things and helpful things, but not really, not a chance at the manager. 30, 5, 000, years, well, it's not well, it's like, where does she think we're going to pull this money out of? I just don't get it. I don't think it's going to be later. She wants to change record, honestly. Uh, Sands, they play a great game to Zone Zone. I think oh, I saw it on the weekend. Yeah. Sunday I went to football and it looked really good. Cool. They start doing that bit next yeah. to the football court, aren't they? Yeah, they start doing that. Really good. Do you know what would be good for there? Like, I know Moses has talked about it, actually, having like a, I mean, it's sort of paid for like a path round of the other pitch. Because of when, well, that's, like, um, that's part of the plan. That would be really good because, uh, well, do you know um, how does it go? They have park run, like Greenhead Park. Mm. We don't have a park run around here. Yeah, it's, it's it's because it, you can't really have one around here because you just churn up all the, the grass all around the pitch and it wouldn't be very good. But once they've got this proper path in place, you can actually do that and that would be really good. You do a park run at Peniston, in not you? I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> the the past part of it is it's going out for ten minutes. It's the same in And it, it, the hope is that in some it's past it will be done. But that's the good. Um, the, I saw, I saw that. the swings at fifteen thousand pounds won't be used. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. So we'll get that back at some point. Parking, it's. Most likely that we're going to apply charges to Sands because I think it's a huge back up. Can I, can I ask a question? It'd be nice if they were like a mobile coffee unit down there, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, for when you're freezing on a Sunday, they could generate some income down there, you know, by one of them little mobile mm -hmm. coffee things. Mm -hmm. Carefully would have to do a license and then they could have a license. Could, could they get one inside the pool, just like a, 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 like a bit of a coffee small thing. cafe place? I'll like tell you, I went to Denvidale Library and that. An absolute oh, amazing little setup that for the business library at Denby Dale. Have you ever been? Yes, indeed. It's got a cafe and it's got like an information centre and a library and your books in there, um, books in there. It's mention. brilliant. It'd be great for the library to go there because they're making enough money to pay all their bills. They've got a really good community thing, they have a history club, they have a. I've got some links there, I've got to bring them. You think about it, though, they're down making it into a destination park. Like, like we go to Thermal Park yeah. sometimes. Like, like in the summer, there's an ice cream van there. They do, uh, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a friends of Thermal Park who do pop up cafes with bacon sandwiches and things like that. So you would think that something like that might just naturally happen as, as it goes along. If it is, because it's going to get busier because right? it's going to get better. Don't tell Margaret Dale, she'll have someone down there. I, I don't think it's a, it, I don't know, it's making charges or having just sort of established that this is going to be a a destination that you could walk into home first and then uh, introduce your car parking. People do want to park on the road first. Anyway, that does not And I don't think that's actually been decided yet. I think no. they're just going to form it. Yeah, I think they've read all those comments on Facebook about the room, possibly. Business together, uh, they're putting together a marketing proposal, so you should see promotional. Um, Words going out about home birth as a destination. Uh, the blueprint for home birth, all the copies are in the library. I have seen one of these, and it's a quite big one. Do I see the magazines almost? No, that's I don't know where I've seen it though. Anyway, that is out. Um, they're working out the tender. And they're saying they're going to do a movement study of vehicles in the next financial year. For what reason, though? I think there was quite a bit of comment about XUVs using the figures through the roofs. Mm. But do we know where they're coming from, where they're going through? Well, they, they come through where the road is closed, can't really do much about that. Can no, no, no. But, 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 but all this stuff before, they did all this stuff before when they were putting up this plan originally. And when they wanted to stop putting out some wagons that go along there, which is just ridiculous because then if you're taking any cows to the market, you can't use it because your vehicle in the field is over three and a half tonne. And if you're running a business in your face, every van is over three and a half tonne. Even some modern pickup trucks are over three and a half tonne. It's a bloody ridiculous idea. But let's waste some more money counting cars. I was quite surprised at that because I was expecting going into this and them saying it's all off, you know, we ain't got any money. But apparently it's still going ahead. I don't know that this can be based about timing, so they may slow it down at some stage. I thought they had some money though, I thought it was like a European grant. 
No, you're a thin man. Is that because you're a thin one? Not anymore. No, but it was before we. Oh, we left, but we left, haven't we? Yeah, we did. Come yeah. back yeah. yeah. authority. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> there must be some caustic outies as well. I'm sure it's not all. Yeah. 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 They could melt down and whack off the down surface of that dry. And then uh, Margaret went on about home values, vision attributes. She said difficulty getting homing involved in it. The market she thought was holding the firm. This is the new market in the kids. Well, that tin oh. used stalls for Christmas, didn't it? There was a sweet oh, stall. Oh. And the lady selling homemade sort of bags. Yeah, that's the whole lot. You were saying that there is demand for additional stalls, but no room. Mm -hmm. It's always decent when they go past there, but like, when they get the new space, then it, there should be more space for it, hopefully. But then she confused me a little bit because she said it can never break even. But they're only charging fifteen pound a stall. I thought, well, charge a bit more. Charge a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> if you pay more than that, does that make you only ask for ice cream? I suppose that evens that out. Uh, potentially, apparently, there's room for twenty six stalls when we get into the new pipeline. Right. So if it doesn't break even, then it's a bit of a run, isn't it? Um, I think one of the problems is that once, once the, if they did work to be used like the new mm -hmm. space area, the problem with that is it doesn't have a big, huge car park next to it, like <laughs> where they have the market and the yeah, yeah. So I know that people can just go from there yeah, to yeah. park there and they can look at the stuff and in and out. When it's in the centre of Home Firth, it'll be a bit oh, more tricky. Car park. But you might have people like who are walking, you might have other people about and things like that. So I think it would still be successful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One fifty committee budget. I don't think there's anything changed on this, right. so I don't think there's anything to really say. Um, One five one publicising the work of Home Valley Parish Council. Assistant clerk for update on the Parish Council. I've got one minute. I've got one minute. I don't really have a lot to, to say actually. I've got um, how's your telephone box job coming? Telephone box job is currently on hold. I think it feels like a summer job um, to, to get it going. Um, we may we may be able to do something with it come kind of March April time and, and get it going. Um, case is keeping me very busy at the moment. So there'll be um, new stories coming out about the. Um, well, I'll see it if it ever gets bought. Shitty <laughs> cut out. Shitty cut out will be one. Um, what's that sort of one? I think youth worker started work. Today, I believe. Um, so I will be interviewing her at least earlier and starting a story out about that. Um, you just don't have to do some work on youth workers. And I don't think he's going to let me interview him. Unfortunately, we should, you should <laughs> tweet him or tweet her and ask him. Yeah, yeah. But that's mostly about knife crime and things like that. No, but it's actually about, but if you listen to it on Radio Fox, it was an interview, it was about knife crime, right. but it was mainly about youth working support and lack of it in most areas. Interesting. That's where it came from. So you can listen to it back on Radio 4, because he did it last week. Oh. Friday, Cancer and Lines is a thing in the Home Valley as well. So we have a problem with that at Penniston, actually. It's really sending me to. Hey, You've missed me, haven't you? <laughs> oh, come on, Adrian, it's nice. <laughs> so, before you close the meeting, can I ask that we might possibly suspend standing orders just for two minutes and revert to item one for the two, which means turning the camera off because we're in private? Yeah, what's yeah, one for two? That's quarry. Quarry, yes. yes. Okay. Are we we're okay, you off, also right? have to approve the time then. Yes, I, it's just, yeah, 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 two minutes, Adrian, it's bloody freezing in here, I know, even though I've warmed it.